Are you looking for new books to read? Do you like finding a new special author? Are you tired of the same old books from the same old authors? Well then, welcome to Discovered Wordsmiths, a podcast where you can hear from fantastic new authors. Join Steven Schneider as he finds and talks to authors you may not know, but authors that have worked hard to write great new books. Hear about their book and why you should check it out. So sit back and listen to today's Discovered Wordsmith. Great, and uh, welcome to uh, Discover Word Smiths. Today, I've got Carmel Lucas. Carmel, welcome to the podcast. Hey, how are you? Hello, everybody. Hey, good. And obviously, uh, somebody's in a great mood. You know what? You know, I'm always in a great mood. When you wake up in the morning, you should be, you know, in a great mood because you see another day, right? So, I, you know, so I'm just super I, excited. I agree. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Carmel, uh, before we get started talking about your book, tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, some about your background, and maybe some of the things you like to do besides writing. Oh, okay. Well, I am here in Orlando, uh, Florida, and um, I've been here for like seven years, and I love it. I love the weather. The weather is great. And uh, my background, I am a stand-up comic as well. I also do uh, motivated speaking. I um, I do creative writing. Um, what else did I do? Um, I, I'm a bo- um, podcaster as well. And I model and I act. You know, I'm an actress. So I do a lot of different things because I like to be motivated and always moving. I can't sit still for some reason. I don't know yeah, why. Say, it, it sounds like your days are kind of boring like you don't have much to do i mean i have a lot to do you know i i I have fun in doing what i do so it's awesome and what i like doing on my downtime is spending time with my daughter and or we go i like going to like different places like you know racing i like to go to daytona and watch the you know racing cars and i like doing fun things you know um arcades and stuff like that you know nice And uh, you said you lived in Orlando for seven years. Where did you come from before that? Well, before that, then I was in Jacksonville for two, but then I came from Connecticut. Yeah. So I was tired of the snow and all that, you know, and I was like, I need some warm weather because I love the hotness. So Orlando was one of the states that I was like, yeah, that's where I'm going to go because it's always hot and I just couldn't do the snow anymore. It was just too much blizzards and all this extra stuff. Uh uh-uh, uh, not for me. Mm-mm. You don't you don't miss skiing or anything? I don't miss none of that. Okay, <laughs> um, it it was just too much for me. You know, all that snow and and you know staying cold and some days you go to work, some days you don't because it was blizzards a blizzard. You know, and right. it's just crazy. Like I like to focus on your book and the readers for this first half. The second half, I like to talk about the writing, but you've got so many things going on. Uh, I think we should talk a little bit about your whole uh, entrepreneurial life for the second <laughs> half. But we'll, we'll get to that. There's a teaser for the second half. How's that? Okay, perfect. That's awesome. Okay, so with all these things, why did you uh, want to start writing? What made you finally sit down and say, I'm going to write a book? Well, before that, you know, I always you know, written, you know, I love essays and stuff like that. So, you know, I I was writing poetry first. And then um, because I love poetry, I love that romance kind of thing. So I was like, let me just write a book, you know, Um, it's inspirational because really the book is basically about my personalities. You know what I mean? I I got crazy personalities. So (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I sat down and I, you know, I just, and it's also what I've seen, you know, and the people I've been around and the people I see and what I see on social media, what I see here and what I see there. And I just put it into a book, you know? And so that's basically why I did it because it was an inspiration. So let me just write a romance book. Cause I really didn't think a lot of women does that. Cause a lot of women does like business books or they'll do like not really erotic books. So I was like, let me be one of these erotic women out here just to get down in the nitty gritty in a book. <laughs> so that's what I did. Yeah. You chose to write a romance book. Yeah. Um, sounds like a little bit erotic. I, I've interviewed several older women and 
they seem to not go for the romance. Um, and I, I didn't know if it was the age. Uh, and you mentioned you have a daughter and you've lived in Florida. So it sound, you sounded younger uh, than that. And I, I was just, for my own benefit, uh, I wasn't trying to out you on your age because I saw your picture. And you're definitely very beautiful, so don't worry about it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people, when I, when I tell people that I write erotic romance books, they look at me like I'm crazy, like, what? That's what you kind of books you write? Why not? Because I feel like every day, every day is, is, is life situations, you know, and everybody, you know, is in romance, you know, and everybody is erotic sometimes. So why not write about it? You know, why don't write about what's going on in your life anyway? I mean, muse is like that. You know, you listen to music, you hear music, all kinds of music, like music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's no different in listening to music and liking that song or writing a book and liking what's in the book, you know? So uh, without getting too explicit, I guess, tell us a little bit about the, the book, uh, what it's about to interest readers who may be like, oh, I think I might want to read that. Well, the book is basically about four friends and um, the four friends are very close. They, they, you know, they support each other and love each other and all this good stuff. And, um, is, you know, each one has their own separate lives. Um, like Denise, she has a, you know, she wants a baby and um, she can't have kids, but she loves her husband very much. And like Keisha, she's an independent woman. She got abused when she was um, in a relationship for two years. She decided to get out of that relationship and she wasn't looking for nobody, but, you know, she came across this wonderful guy. And um, about Liz, she's a married woman with three kids. She um, her husband is always going out, cheating on her with every woman in the world. And she's a stay at home mom. And he feel like she should do. She got, you know, gain a little bit of weight and he's unattracted to her now. And um, she has an older son and he, you know, despise his father because he feel like he should be there with him and, and the family. And um, he goes cheat. And then the wife meets a younger guy, you know. And he f makes her feel like a woman again. And you know what I mean when I say that, okay? <laughs> that That's where the parts we don't want to put into the interview are. <laughs> exactly. And since so, you know, and, for, and then the last girl was Tanya. And Tanya is the youngest of the group. Uh, she does everything possible that imagined is in the world today. And um, she also cheats with, um, you know, with someone close to her that is one of her friend's man. Basically, yeah. Tanya doesn't care. She doesn't care about life. She has a daughter, leaves her daughter with her mother and let her mother raise her daughter. And her daughter's five and she just want to go out and party. That's all she want to do. So uh, based on what you were saying earlier about all the things you do, are each of these characters a, an aspect of you or are they people you know? Um, how'd you come well, up with all the variety? Right. Well, the people, well, you could say some is me and some is people, you know, people that I know. Um, um, for example, like Tanya, I mean, I've seen some, you know, I've seen a lot of things. And so um, I decided to write that character because, you know, um, the people that I've seen that I've been around, you know, they do such things, you know, and, and I'm like, wow, so let me write about her, but I ain't gonna put her name on it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, so, you know, but, you know, certain ones, um, uh, is me, um, for example, um, Keisha, cause I'm a very independent person. Um, I've been through a lot of my life, so I decided to go ahead and write that. And, um, you know, um, Denise, you know, a little bit of me, you know, and, uh, Liz is not me at all. It's just what I've seen, you know, and what, you know, people talk to me about it or what I've heard or something like that. So I just wrote that character because I felt like other oh, women should see that you're worth more than being, you know, put down or mentally abused. You know, it's somebody out here for you. You don't have to be in that relationship. You can move on. Even though you're married and have kids, doesn't mean that you bonded to that because you don't need to be um, treated you know, really bad or belittled by any man, you know? Right. Uh, that, that's a big topic, uh, even in the news today. So it fits right, right in with contemporary thoughts. Mm -hmm. So what, 
what other books out there are similar to this one? If readers say, oh, well, I like that book, uh, well, maybe I'll pick up Carmel's. <laughs> well, um, actually, I, I have a, um, actually, that book has a movie to it. It's on YouTube. Or, and um, I, I decided to make a movie out of it because I felt like there's something that I wanted to do. And I made it um, actually a, a feature film off of that move, off that book. Nice. And, um, it's on YouTube and it's called In Love With The Other Man by myself, Caramel Lucas. And, oh, I have to look it up and provide a link. Exactly. And also, um, I have another book that I'm about to you know get together. Um, it's called Rebecca Meet Philip. And this book is based about a teenager who wants to live a life, but um, the mother keeps um, telling her that she can't live that life because, you know, I'm not, I don't want to put too much into it, but um, the mother dream was to become a singer. And when her daughter finished high school, she wanted to become a dancer, but her mother was, you know, didn't want her to pursue her career because she didn't have a chance to pursue hers. Got it. Is it a direct sequel or just a similar book? Um, it's like a direct sequel. No, it's a similar book. Well, yeah, a similar book. Yeah, something like yeah. So, you know, it's just like it's a it's you know has a little bit of romance in it, but like I said, it's a teenager book, and you know, it's more um her, you know, Got trying to okay. her goals. Yeah. Um. So is this uh? Did you self publish this or did you go through a publisher? I went through a publisher. I actually went through Author House. Okay. And, so we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll talk about that a bit more. And the first book is out. The second book, when do you expect that to be out? Um, give it um, probably, I'm still, you know, I finished it and everything. And, you know, like I said, I got a lot of other things going on. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give it like a six month, seven month, something like that. Um, because I'm thinking about um, doing that. And then I'm also thinking about, um, you know, creating creating a um a horror movie you know and then because i never did that before and i want to try it just to see how it goes nice and i love that mm -hmm. uh is it going to be a romance horror i know i'm all about this romance kind of thing right <laughs> <laughs> no actually um I don't even know which direction I want to go right now, but, but you know, nine out of 10 are probably a romance kind of hard kind of thing because I love the romance. You know, I'm a, I'm that one lovable kind of girl, you know? <laughs> so I love romance. I love love period. So, um, it probably ended up going that way, but, um, I'm in the process of writing it now and I'm just trying to fi figure out which direction to go, you know? Got it. Right. Got it. Okay. And, uh, what type of feedback have you gotten from readers? Oh my God, everybody loves it. They're waiting for the second part of the book, right? <laughs> They're like, look, you have to have the second part because once they read it, they read the whole book and they sat down and read it and they was like, oh my God, I need the other part, you know, and they love it. They think it's awesome. They like, um, they, they, it's like an up and down, like a roller coaster. Your emotions go up and down and, you know, everybody can't stand a Liz husband, Frank, because he thinks he's a douchebag, but you know, um, everybody really loves the book and they, they waiting for a second one. So. Oh, well, that's good. That's definitely what you want. And you need those characters in there that people can love to hate. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that. And, and, um, yeah, Frank is the one that everybody hates right now, you know, and I'm like, wow. Okay. I mean, for him, <laughs> <laughs> it was just crazy. Yeah. Okay. And so, Carmel, uh, growing up, what were some of your favorite books and favorite authors? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. When I was growing up, I really didn't have a childhood life, basically. Um, I didn't really um, read a lot, and I didn't really write a lot. I, I started writing when I was like, what, four, mm, 12, and that's when I started reading and stuff like that. But when I was growing up, I really, um, I was here and there. So, um, I really didn't have much time of reading and writing, um, you know, um, went to school, came home, had to, t you know, help my, you know, my grandparents with my brothers because I'm the oldest of out of six, you know? Mm -hmm. And, okay. um, oh yeah. So you didn't get a chance to read a whole lot growing up. Does your daughter read? Do you read with her or anything like oh that? Oh my God, she's a reader. <laughs> okay. She reads everything. She does not like, she reads everything. And I'm so super happy for that because, 
you know, as I, like I said, I was 12 when I started doing everything and now she's 15, but she's been reading and she loves reading. Um, she writes, but she don't care for writing that much. But when it comes to reading, reading is her everything, you know, and I love that about it because she likes going to the library, getting books and going to any book she sees. She's like, I want to read that. I want to try it out. You know, so that's awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, here, before we uh, finish up our reader discussion on your book, uh, tell everybody why they should get your book. I mean, they should get my book because, listen, everybody, you should get my book is because it's it's, it's a roller coaster. It gives you emotions. Um, It's fun to read. Um, You will love the characters. You and I believe you can relate to some of the characters because, you know, everybody can relate to someone in that book. Um, you know, I have other characters in the book that you may relate to, such as Kim and, you know, Craig. And it's just a lot of different characters in the book. But I believe that um, you will enjoy it and you'll want the second book. And the second book will be coming. And, um, you know, I don't believe I believe that you will keep reading until you finish the book, because once you get in the book, you cannot put it down. I, I, you know, so that's why. Nice. All right. So tell everybody one more time what the title is and where they can get it and where they can find you online. Awesome. So um, the name of the book is In Love with the Other Man. Um, It's by uh, Cameron Lucas. You can get it on or you can say Francina Cameron Lucas. And it's by um, you can get on Arthur House, uh, Walmart, um, Barnes and Nobles, Amazon. Um, any any platforms or book platforms you can get it on. Um, you can also follow me on social media under Camera Lucas on um, LinkedIn, um, Instagram, on Twitter it's Miss M S underscore underscore Caramel, and for um, Instagram it's at Miss M S Caramel Lucas. Okay. And you can go to my website. It's www.caramellucas.net. Okay. I'll put some links in the uh, show notes also. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, Carmel, it was great talking to you about your book. I wish you luck. It sounds like you're having some very good success with it already. And uh, maybe we'll chat again once the second book comes out. Awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Discovered Wordsmiths. Come back next week and listen to another author discuss the road they've traveled and maybe sometime in the near future, it might be you.